All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a VLAN access list. Let's get started. First, we need to configure an IP access list. Let's do, let's do a standard. Let's do 88. We'll permit the slash 24 I'm using in the network. Use a wildcard mask. We're going to permit anything that is 192.168.161. Now we'll create our VLAN access list. It's considered a VLAN access map in the configs here. Give it a name, CCNP. And we'll start with line 10. So our first line here, we're going to tell it to match the IP address set up for access list 88. And if you are within that realm, I want you to go ahead and forward that traffic. And then we'll do line 20 here. You say anything else that hasn't been forwarded, I want you to drop. So only that slash 24 is allowed to operate within whatever VLAN we put this. VLAN access map on. So let's get around to actually putting it on here. VLAN filter, the name of the VLAN access map. VLAN list, this is what VLANs we're going to apply this to. For this scenario, I'm going to put it onto VLAN 4. But what I want to show you here is, let's say I wanted to do 4 and 5. I could simply do that. Or 4, 5, and 6. There you go. I just applied that filter to VLANs 4, 5, and 6. Another thing is if you take a look here, I don't actually have VLANs 4, 5, and 6 created. So, it just goes to show you you don't need to have them created in order to put the VLAN filter on there. So, if we, if we did go ahead and create those, the VLAN filter would already be in effect. 